Welcome to Dare to Dream. This is Debbie Dashinger. And as always, my pleasure to be here with you. This show is sponsored by Dr. Dane Here and Access Consciousness. They do amazing work out into the world for healing and facilitation. If you would like to become a facilitator or attend one of their workshops anywhere, go to Dr. Dane Here, H E E R dot com, as well as Access Consciousness dot com. And a little bit later on in the show, I am bringing on my guest, Jimmy Mack, which is a song I grew up with, but that's another story. But Jimmy Mack is actually here. He's a medical intuitive, a spiritual life coach, and the creator of My Liquid Fish Change Made Simple. You are going to want to stick around, not only for the amazing conversation, but because he's taking us through some healings. And trust me, if you're sensitive to energy, you will be sensitive and receive also in your space. So this show, 15 years, more than 15 years, we've been around on radio and podcast. We're listed in Welp Magazine as one of the top 20 best podcasts to listen to this year. Recently won the Coalition of Visionary Resources Best Radio Show and Podcast, nominated for two People's Choice Podcast Awards and for a Webby Award. I thank all of you because without you, I'd be talking to myself. So I'm so grateful you're on this journey with me. Much gratitude to all of you. I am Debbie Dashinger. I am a visibility media expert out into the world. And that means three pieces to what I offer. The first piece is I'm a book writing coach. I help you to write a highly engaging page turner book. The second piece is I have a company that takes authors books to a guaranteed international bestseller and I do all the heavy lifting for you. And the third piece is the ultimate visibility, how you can be interviewed on podcasts and radio and get massive results. I have a special gift for you if you're ready for more visibility in your life and to learn how to do these pieces, writing, getting interviewed, go to my website. There's templates, there's videos just for you to help you get started. It's debbiedashinger.com slash gift. That's D-E-B-B-I. D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R dot com slash gift. So we are at that momentous time, which is my introduction to you to Jimmy Mack, who is a renowned medical intuitive, spiritual life coach. He has taken, completed, and even mastered a variety of healing modalities. After a near-death experience, he was divinely shown and then developed a simpler way to create healing and profound transformational changes faster, now known as My Liquid Fish, Change Made Simple. He's the author of nine books, over 30 energetic clearing and healing audio MP3s on a variety of self-improvement topics. He offers a mastery and practitioner certification program, and he hosted a weekly radio show called The Jimmy Mac Healing Show for over five years. Jimmy works worldwide with clients in person, on the phone, on Skype, WhatsApp, Telegram, etc. He accesses energetic powers and co-creates changes that people he works with can actually feel. You can learn more by going to his website at jimmymachealing.com. And with that, I welcome Jimmy to the Dare to Dream show. And he's going to unmute himself and come on. Mm-hmm. And Jimmy, it's so great go. to have you. Great to, have, great to be seen. Great to be on your show. I really appreciate it. It sounds like this, uh, I know you went to the ICU. It sounds mm-hmm. like this was a game changer. Can you talk us through a little bit what happened? Yeah, it really was. I mean, like you mentioned, I did a lot of different healing modalities, including some of the access consciousness. And even when, when Dane was in Tampa, I saw him. And wow. so a lot of that theta healing, reconnective healing, matrix energetics, all levels of that, you and method, um, you know, just a little bit of everything and followed a lot of those folks around for many, many years. So, but I had a practice myself on healing and helping others. Definitely the ICU was a game changer. Uh, they took out my gallbladder, but they about killed me. They gave me too much anesthesia. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so I was a mess. And, you know, when the doctors all pile in your little hospital room, it's a problem. And so they had heads of 
different departments all piled into my room. And I said, you guys must have really messed up. And they said, why do you say that? And I said, because there's no students with you because it was a teaching hospital, right? So I thought it was funny. They didn't think it was funny. But... <laughs> and so the finally, I, you know, I could hardly talk. I'd been intubated and could hardly speak. And my oxygen saturation index kept crashing. So I was really, really low. Wasn't getting enough oxygen, all that. And they'd basically give me full-blown clinical pneumonia. And so that's what I was in, uh, stayed up. And I finally said to the surgeon, he was a young, good-looking guy, and I said, pretend I'm your best friend, your uncle, your favorite brother, or whatever. I said, he said, we can leave you here and monitor you or put you in ICU. And I said, you tell me what you think we should do. He's, his eyes got big. He said, I put you in ICU. And I said, well, let's go, lead the way, right? And so off we went. So I was there for three days and three nights, and every night I had something more profound. Uh, there was no doctors in the ICU at midnight, one, two in the morning. So the nurses brought me back, and that was it. Ooh. But every night was different. Every night was profound. The closest I can tell people really is all the deep inner space photographs from Hubble and now the new web telescope and that's really what i was going up into it was gorgeous it's nothing you want to come mm. back from the sights the sounds um constance dimby is the other if you've heard her before um i'll send you the youtube on that it's really profound and that's the type of music that i heard it was very very mystical magical the colors aren't like anything i've ever seen just very vivid very bright it's nothing you want to come back from and I think it was Zach Bush, MD. He's all over YouTube too. He's awesome. And he talks about acceptance and bringing back people from the ICU. Mm -hmm. And everybody asked him, you know, why don't you just let me go? And that was the feeling I got too every night. You're just like, you don't want to be here, you know, if you're in this bad of shape, you know. And so you're fine with crossing over at that point and you enter into this acceptance of all things. And so it's very vivid, colorful. And that was my experience, you know, and that's what I saw. Never saw Jesus, never saw white light, none of that. Uh, but my theory now is this, and that is, you know, if you have some kid on the African plane or in India and he's riding an elephant and doesn't know anything about Jesus, he, Jesus isn't going to meet him at the gates, right? He might be on an elephant, I don't know, going through the jungle and it's beautiful and that's paradise to him, right? And so... I think it's very, very, very customized, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. for everybody's experience. But I learned a few things. One was, I'm not coming back here. I mean, it was just too vivid, too profound to ever come back. You know, it was where I'm going is probably, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know where, galaxies away. Let's put it nice. that way, right? And, you know, then you're no longer afraid of death, too. Mm. And I think that's important, so... Uh, when I go, I go. But now I'm kind of like you. I'm like, go, go, go all the time. And I have an American Indian drum just kind of playing in the back of my head, like, go, 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 do this, go on the interview, help people contribute, contribute, contribute. Right. And so that's what changed profoundly for me. And now, whether I'm working on you or the pendulum or any of those things, it seems to have taken on a life of its own where we can actually change the energy around anything. So interesting to me. Mm -hmm. um, that's a profound story. And, and just so for my brain, my curious brain. Mm -hmm. So here you on the other side, much the better. You mm -hmm. made good of a really awful situation. But once you got out of ICU, was it a long time? So you got back on your oh. feet again? Oh, it was so over a month. I tell people it sounds crass, but it's like it took me a month to not be out of breath to zip up my fly, right? It was brutal because I had just full-blown clinical pneumonia. I'll never forget, they were, they were pushing me out of ICU and to a step-down unit. And it was a great nurse, and she was next to me. I think her name was Vivian at the time. And she said, as she's pushing me out of ICU, she says, we didn't think you were going to make it. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, what a thing to say, right? And so we get ready to go through these double doors and it has a picture of her and it says, congratulations, Vivian, ICU nurse of the year. And I thought, <laughs> I thought, well, at least they put her on me. Right. So, yeah, and that, that was, was the best thing. they had. That was the best they had. So here I am. Right. And so then they put me in a step down unit and 
the internist lady was sweet and she came in and she brought these, uh, we were in South Florida at the time and she brought in these two Cuban girls. I don't even think they spoke English. She says, Jimmy, these girls are from rehab and they're going to teach you how to walk again. I'm like, teach me how to walk again. How hard could that be? Right. Come on. I mean, I couldn't even sit up in bed. Really? So yeah, it was brutal. So I came back though. I thought I was determined. I was like, oh, I'm going to exercise and do breathing treatments. And they're like, and you can walk down the hall and down there and back. And, you know, then you can go. I'm like, oh, I'm going to be, <laughs> I want to be doing this eight times a day. Right. I'm getting out of here one way or the other. So that was that. Oh boy, I would have been the so, same. Oh, of course, of like course. For determination. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, you can walk down there. I can leave. Okay, watch this, right? And do you feel like your gifts shifted <clears throat> coming back? Do you feel like <clears throat> with this crossing over that yeah. you were also imbued with things or it activated things you weren't all aware that, of? all that. Yes, it changed everything. It was very dynamic, very powerful, and. Now you can feel things and yeah, you can feel things. You can move things, you know, energetically. And I wasn't able to do that before, you know, not, not to the level I am now. Ooh. So, yeah. So what kind of issues do you work with? What kind of things uh, do people come to you? Do you have like a specialty or do you address all sorts of things? What are they? Um, I would say a little bit of everything, you know, I tell people anywhere there's energy, that's what we want to change. I mean, there's plenty of things I can't work with or doesn't seem to help. But for the most part, especially emotional things, uh, maybe people have viruses, maybe they had a knee or hip replacement, that sort of thing. And so one of the odd things I would do is, uh, is work on actually the bolts and screws accepting the body, the implant accepting the body and this mm. body accepting all that. Mm. And when you do that, everything calms down and changes too. So there's a lot of odd shortcuts they've shown me along the way that I had no clue about. And so now it's like constant downloads all the time. I love the tagline on your website. I work on people, places, situations, and pets. I think I'm leaving out some adjectives. Yeah, right thanks. Today. Yeah, thanks. I <laughs> you love got it. it. It's, you got and that it. <clears throat> That's the truth. So. What you do. Yeah. How do you, What's the deal with animals? Because I I love that you mm -hmm. can do that. I think I wish I could do that. Mm -hmm. What how what does that gift manifest like? Being um, you know, the animals are awesome because you and I are hung up on all this belief work, and you know we have all these blocks or maybe opinions, positionality, and animals are like love, 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 and I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm tired, <laughs> and that's about it. Gotta right? go to the bathroom. And like, yeah, and it's <laughs> like yeah, yeah, Debbie's home, right? It's like that's it. It doesn't, you know, doesn't go all that deep. So I think the way they are now, it allows us to work on them a lot easier because they don't have all these blocks and they haven't mm -hmm. humanized themselves up and they haven't overthought anything, right? We're just changing the energy around them. And when you do that, they can shift and change. So I've had very profound things even happen with the animals mm -hmm. got a lot better. So beautiful. We're going to yeah. do some of that too later people. So you want to mm -hmm. stick around because we're going to do a little bit animal. I don't know if it'll be a healing, a loving, a connection, but certainly Jimmy will lead us through it. You say, Jimmy, that we can change slash influence the energy of any negative issue and it can be resolved and changed into a positive state like that. Yeah, pretty quick. Lord, we need you, son. Yes. So please illuminate mm -hmm. how. Well, um, I think at the end of the day, um, Cam Ewan said it best. He, he would say there is only strength and weakness in the Ewan method. And I think that's really what it is. So wherever there is a weakness, we're just downloading more strength into it and making it more positive. And wherever there's a strong negative thing, we're releasing that so that it lightens up. And when you play in the field long enough, pretty soon it starts playing with you. And so that is where I'm at now. Oh my and gosh, so, okay, yeah. you can't end on that. When you're playing in the field long enough, mm -hmm. I mean, it feels like a movie I wanna watch. It starts playing on you. What do yes, you Yes, play, playing with you. In with other words, you get, you get more hits, you get a lot more intuition. Mm. Um, you will hear things in verbiage you would never use. So they might tell me for your pet or whatever, look at his, hind leg and i would never think to say hind leg and so that's how i know it's spirit coming through 
and okay. helping. Being totally guided to ask you about your certification. Mm -hmm. What is that? How long is it? What? Sure. What? Yeah, it's very short. Um, you know, I tell everybody I, I spent a decade in six figures, so you don't have to. Um, <laughs> Uh, I have a basic course that everybody takes and kind of my joke on that is if you can read at the ninth grade level, listen to the radio and watch a movie, you can pass the course. So and then after that, I have people around the world now that are practitioners that went through the next level doesn't take that long, I, I think maybe a dozen hours for basic total. Is and it live with you? With practitioner. No, everything is online. And people go through that. It's self-paced. It's very reasonably priced. And then what happens is at the end of both basic and advanced practitioner, I spend 15 minutes with the person that took the course to answer any questions they have, just to make sure they get it and they figured it out. At the end of the day, the easiest way to tell you too is infinity is an eight laying on its side. So one of the things spirit showed me during ICU was to take off the back left end. And so you wind up with this little fish that looks like a kid would drew a, you know, with his, with his fist and used a crayon. And so that's what it looks like. And so on the bottom left of the tail, all we're doing is taking out earth negative weakness. We run it through the fish and release it. And anything that's positive we don't have would be a heaven positive strength. And we would download that through the fish and bring it back into us. And when you start to do that, then everything starts to shift and change. Wow. Well, folks, I'm going to give you a way to get Jimmy's My Liquid Fish Starter Kit for free in a little bit. So you got to stick with us. That's fascinating to me. Yeah, I'm really drawn to what you're saying. So I want to give them a feeling, a sense of what you do. And I told you earlier, like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I found this. This is a pendulum. I don't, honestly, I think I bought this at the Bodhi tree in LA, which doesn't even exist anymore. It's so old. Uh -huh. And I got it and I was excited. And then I never used it, but I thought, oh, but it's rose quartz. And I, I'm, I didn't even know I still had it. So here mm -hmm. it is. Tell us how you work with people. So, so yeah, ideally, people want to be able to at least use their fingers. Maybe they get a yes or no break on that. And again, strength, weakness. My name is Jimmy would be strong. And if I said my name is Freddie, it'd be weak. And this is under the umbrella of applied kinesiology, dowsing. What you're talking about with the pendulum is dowsing. To me, they're like a rain gauge, a barometer, a thermometer. It's something that is measuring the energy. And so we would take a baseline even on the pendulum of a yes or no. And if it's something we want to change and it isn't how we want it to be, then we would just fish it out or bring it in. And that's it. And the same with standing sway testing. I like that a lot too. People can't skew that. And when you stand up, face north seems to be the most powerful way to go. The more hydrated people are, the better. And that gives you an idea right there. And so you can actually feel things coming and going. Okay. I'm actually going to open my phone because I do not, I don't, I'm not sure. You're trying to figure out which way is north. Sun comes up in the east and turn to the left. So think about which way the sun comes up. And then you're just going to turn to the left. And if you're geographically challenged... <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you have, you have the iPhone, it has a compass on it. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know I did this when I had a session with you. So north, I, it says south is here. Oh, so would I turn my back to you? If that's north, ideally. Yikes. We're gonna, well, we're going to make north any way you want it. How about that? We'll really? drop in north for you. Yeah. All right. You can do that. All right. Let of me course. Yeah. This out. Mm hmm so y'all like yeah and, yeah and grab your pendulum too okay. you got your pendulum excellent yeah and it looks like north yes is this direction okay um, so we'll grab this yeah maybe just turn to one side or the other so folks can see your movement there you go yeah even like that and if you just say my name is debbie it should pull you forward to a yes my name well it did as soon as you said it my name mm -hmm. is debbie Excellent. And if you say, my name's Nemo the fish, it's going to pull you backwards. My name is Buddha. There you go. 
<laughs> That's a no. So it's that simple. And we're going to do things for everybody, you, your doggy, and everybody that sees the show now or in the future. And I think that's important. So we'll get everything cleaned up really quick about that. So start with I am clear. And this is clear of everything Halloween. I am clear. I am clear. And it's pulling you forward to yes. That's fabulous. And the thing outside of all that would be I am unclear. And we'll see which way you go. I am unclear. doesn't feel good in the body i'll tell you that yeah it should pull you back to no i call that alien fighting predator on the back step so you at least don't have that i'm just deleting more of it now for you yeah. there you go and the third one is called i am running forward which is body mind spirit relationships health and money and we're just putting the car in drive wow. and it's there you're there right. yeah you feel it sure do i hope you excellent yeah, we can see you. That's good. Yeah, it looks great. So that's the basic spiel and how we would change things is if there's something, let's say we want to work on money for you and everybody that's listening now and in the future, anytime they see this, they could listen to the sound of my voice or see the video. So I like good fortune. I think that's important. Let's do good fortune flows in around and through me now. And we'll see if we get a. This or the fingers when I come back. We're gonna, we're gonna. When you sit down, we're gonna use the pendulum. But for right now, we're gonna do good fortune flows in around and through me now, and see if you go forward, back, or in can between. Can I repeat those words or no? You can. It won't matter. They heard me. The words. Good fortune flows in and around and through me now. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. So I'm going to fish out or release everything blocking you from that. And I just changed it. And now it's going to pull you forward to yes. Good fortune run, flows in and through me. Ugh. Good fortune flows in and through and around me now. Yes, yes, yes. And that's how fast we can change things. So it gives you an idea. And that's going to help you a lot too, even. And we're giving that to everybody that watches the show. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Well, you can sit down and play with the pendulum if you want or bring your yes. puppy in or whatever works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll turn off the compass that did absolutely nothing. Yeah. North makes a difference. I would say it's 20 to 30 percent stronger poles. And uh, so there's a lot of people I find if they're taking psychotropics and a lot of different meds, they're just barely moving. Whereas my ladies in South Tampa that are all yoga teachers and whatnot, they look like willows in the wind. You know, they're just like unbelievable. And so you can really sense the energy, whether it's strong or weak within a person just by doing that. Now, the pendulum is different. Like I said earlier, it's really like a barometer, a thermometer. Uh, I think of it as a utility item, a hammer, you know, scotch tape, whatever. Um, and so that's what we want to do. So ideally, what I figured out over a long period of time, people are so funny because they'll go, oh, my pendulum goes right and that's yes. And then counterclockwise or makes a sign of the cross. It's no. It's like, <laughs> oh, my God, that's so it's ridiculous. Right. So what I do is I start slinging it away from me as if we're going down a highway. Perfect. And if it veers off to the right, it's going off on the shoulder of the highway. That to me is a yes. If it veers off to the left, it's a no-no because it's going into oncoming traffic. And I always pick it back up each time. I would swing it and get yes or no, whatever works. So if you pick it up again, that's perfect. And you just say, my name is Debbie. Yeah. And if you my say, name my name is, is Debbie. And it should go to the right. And it's going to shift. Yeah. It's going to spin around. Don't worry. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to move. I'm like, I know I didn't work with you, but you don't have to be angry with me. No. We're building relationship now. <laughs> there we go. So start swinging in a little bit forward. Yeah, you don't have to sling it, just barely move it. And now, if you say, My name is Debbie, it should veer off to the right. My name is Debbie. At least we got it center. Yeah. It's going to the right now. It is, isn't it? Wow, yeah. Crazy. Whoa. There you go. It's crazy. Yep. 
And so if you pick it back up again and start moving it down the little highway and you just say, my name is Freddie, it's going to go to the left. My name is Freddie. <laughs> See it immediately jump to the left. Yeah, it's in my brain. And that's good. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So what would you change or have different? You want to work on yourself, your puppy, the audience? Uh, let's start with the money into? thing so everybody okay. can receive and we'll do the puppy later. I like that. Yeah. So we did good fortune earlier. The other odd little things I like to do would be for uh, their switches and it borders on physics. And what we want to do is turn off a bad luck switch and turn on the good luck switch. There's plenty of people their whole lives. Maybe they made an extra thousand dollars this month. And next month they get hit with an $1,100 transmission bill or something. So I call it two fives for a 10 every month and we got to get you out of that. And so if you play with your little pendulum right now, we'll say my bad luck switch is turned off. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. My, my bad, bad luck switch, switch is turned, is turned off. off. See, it's a no already. So we're gonna change that. And actually what I'm gonna do is go to the heavens and I'm tracing the fish. And then I'm going to just turn it off. And now you're going to watch it go to a yes. It's going to spin all around and then go yes on you. So weird. I know. And I'm in Florida. You're in California. So totally. I've only used the fingers before. Mm -hmm. Or knowing. But uh, now it's going to jump to a yes. This kind of feels like a Ouija board a little bit. Yeah. It's got a... a energy of its own for it sure. does wow. it does but that's me having spirit go through you and that's moving awesome. things yeah that's what you're feeling mm -hmm. so the other one of course is my good luck switch is turned on my my good luck switch is turned mm -hmm. on Oof. and see if you get right. yes no or in between really rock this I'm even trying not to look but i want to keep my hand up for everybody yeah it's a no too so we're going to turn it on for you and everybody else now and in the future so we're doing it like a light switch. Now it's going to jump to the right. Okay. My good luck switch is turned on. Oh, I want to raise my hand. Yeah, it's going. Yep, totally to the right. And just so people Excellent. know, like, in, you know, complete love and transparency and humanity, I am going through a challenging time right now. So some of this stuff... Um, when it resonates and reads like that, this is a blessing. It's like, for, and for all of us, whatever you're mm -hmm. going through, it's such a blessing to clear mm -hmm. this out. Absolutely. We came, we came here to do big work. You know, mm -hmm. That's true. And I always tell people, even like you too, especially, is your mission is bigger than us, right? So the mission you're on and being the little lighthouse that's helping others and really showing people the way and keeping the ships off the rocks that mission is way bigger than just debbie yeah. and so that's what you have to keep in mind and that gets me out of bed in the morning so that's beautiful mm -hmm. what else can we change <laughs> oh it's endless <laughs> work on you the puppies whatever works you tell All me right. well i want yeah. i want you to tell us first five anchors you mm -hmm. discovered five anchors can you break that down yeah yeah so the wild part about that is i just kind of always sloughed over all the evil alien stuff i wasn't that big into it um i just kind of was like yeah whatever i'll clear it real fast and keep going and then earlier this year oh my gosh did i get sick so i went through everything from pneumonia to legionnaires and I was like death warmed over in bed. And my doctor friend was funny. He said, oh, you need to go to the ER. And I'm like, F you, I'll die at home. No way, I'm not going. And point is, at one point, I had very profound experiences, meaning negative stuff. I was so beaten down that I saw just bizarre stuff in the room, things trying to choke me out, that sort of thing to where you just can't breathe. And I thought the hell with this i'm going to figure this out and it was as if i had to pull off almost monster hands around my neck and heave this thing that was attacking me up into the ceiling and beyond and it was just the wow. wild wildest most negative experience i've ever had and i was like okay now you got my attention now we're going to get down to work and we're going to change this so five anchors is really categories for changing things uh the first one would really have to do with the feelings of uh, things like trauma 
and feelings of upset, that sort of thing. That's a first anchor. And you would douse all these things to figure out what you're caught up in. Um, the second, of course, would be alien energy, the negative alien energy. The third is evil, and that just encapsulates everything that could possibly be evil. Uh, the fourth for me is called buoys. Our whole theme about everything we do is nautical. So there's weather buoys way offshore and they have the chains go down like 11, 1200 feet deep. So you can't even see the anchor that's holding those buoys offshore and all this deep water. So buoys to me are the mystery of things that are tripping you up. You may not be aware of. So you want to clear those. And finally, the fifth one on the fifth anchor really is AI, uh, 5G, Wi-Fi, all the stuff that's messing us up, you know, magnetism, that sort of thing that is just really just wreaking havoc on us. And so I figure out basically which one of those five people might be stuck on or messed up on. And then we just delete those and fish all those out and release them. And the irony that came through was we normally just fish like this. Over time, you can just flash it with your eyes and you watch it change. And that's where I'm at now is I can just say it and things change. So I have to be very careful what I say. And the irony past that really is you want to fish these things out that are negative. When I get up to the top, I'm saying splash. And I'm splashing that like a whale that's breaching and shooting up water. And that takes all that out. And that's what they showed me every time. And SPLASH stands for Send Problematic Low Anomalies Sky High. And so you want all the stuff off of you. So as I'm in your energy right now, you have nothing internally at all or externally, of course. But a lot of times people might remember that old commercial and it was a soft scrub commercial. And it looked like little scrubbing bubbles and things racing around the uh, bathtub, if you will. So it kind of looks like that, the negative pieces. And to me, they look like squid. I worked on a lady in Tampa, Florida the other day, and her son was having bad dreams and different things. And he was drawing pictures of squid. And I said, you've got to send that to me. That's awesome. Because he was seeing them. I see them all the time, of course, but I don't talk about everything. They, they'd haul me off, right? And so imagine this little kid was actually seeing them. So we deleted all that out. And of course, nightmares all went away. So those are five anchors. The five anchors are things that might be holding you in place. And this can happen on relationships, work, job, career. They're hitting that glass ceiling. Uh, anything going on, love, life, and money, you know, that sort of thing can be tripping you up. And once you clear that, it's just open field running. Things seem to get a whole lot better and shift and change. And people will wind up having anomalies inside or outside of them. And we take them step by step through that. That was my next question. So when somebody works with you, mm -hmm. I, I assume for a period of time, you start one place and make sure all of that is clear. The next anchor, the next anchor, the next anchor. Wow. Can you tell me, because I love stories, I love stories about how this works. Mm -hmm. Somebody, one or a couple of stories about people you've worked with, where they started oh. and what this work did for them. Well, I mean, they're all over the website and there's testimonials everywhere, but you know, a lot of folks have had very profound situations. I've taught people how to do this. It could have been uh, I've taught a 12 year old boy with his mother in the room and I taught a 90 plus year old woman that drove up to see me probably 40 miles each way. And so, yeah, and that particular person, just as an example, um, she wanted to work on love life and money and all this stuff. Well, she barely could walk coming in and then going out, she could walk better and she wasn't using her cane the next day. Now, you know, relationships, I don't know, you know, what happened with that or the money part. But gosh, if you can walk without a limp and you don't need a cane anymore, I think that's a win. So people come at me maybe with, you know, three, five, 10 problems. And, you know, if your migraines go away and now you're sleeping at night, well, that's a start, right? So that's the way I look at it. Yeah, it doesn't suck, basically. It doesn't suck, right. Very, <laughs> very important to get rid of a lot of that stuff. So, And listen, that's part of the mysticism and all this that you and I are always fascinated by. And that is we never know what we're going to get. We never know what's going to happen. 
And I think that keeps us young and laughing about it and, and intrigued. And so when you bring this up, because I know in your bio, it says medical mm -hmm. intuitive. Mm -hmm. How is that for you? I mean, can you scan someone's body? Yeah, I go really fast. Um, like if I go through your whole body right now, anybody I would do, I would say virus, uh, bacteria, mold, fungus, mildew, yeast, candida, negative pathogen, parasites, heavy metals, uh, allergies, illness, disease, disorder. You don't have any of those things right now. Zero. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. That's right. Yeah. And for people that do, it would, you know, it would feel like, um, to me, it would feel like a stopping point. And then I'd go deeper into that and clear it. I, I don't like playing the game of, hey, guess what's wrong with me? You know, if you have cancer of the elbow, then come right out of the gate and let me know. You know, and that way we can go faster. I can do it and I can go through them and tell them exactly what's wrong. But at the end of that, you know, it's like, who cares? Now we both know the horrible stuff, right? It's like, let's change it. And my joke always is the two psychics meet in the middle of the road. The one says to the other, you're fine. How am I? Right? Because a lot of them, you know, they can read for everybody, but maybe their life's horrible. Okay. Uh, so the point is the power isn't in the knowing, but the power is in the changing. All right. Well, interestingly enough, while we've been con conversing on this end of things, I heard a little pitter patter come into the room. So Shelby clearly is aware of you because she was nowhere near here. I love that. Yeah. I so, get along great with animals too. I can't animals wait to meet really... her. Yeah. So here's Shelby the shaman. I feel terrible to wake her up, but I really, <laughs> she's still clearly. I love it. I this love is it. Shelby. Mm -hmm. Greatest hey, joy in my life. Shelby, you're on camera. She Camera means nothing. It means everything to mommy and nothing to her. Right. So she's a cockapoo. She's seven. And she looks like a cockapoo with her hair. Look. Right. Cocker Spaniel Poodle. Um, she recently turned seven years old. Very sleepy little girl. And I could say a million things about her. But is there any place you want her to be or anything you want me yeah, to do? It won't, it won't matter on that. What's going on with her? How's she doing overall? um she's amazing okay she's so that's amazing. good and yeah. i would say you know maybe what would be very beneficial since mommy is going through a little bit of a challenging time mm -hmm. uh i i don't know how to check in with her um i try to try very hard much to stay constant i think that's important mm -hmm. but i would i want her to be okay on every level yeah she tests out really good when i'm in it so that's why I asked what's going on with her, because I don't pick up anything. When I ask, there isn't anything really physical going on. Uh, seven is ish 49 in people years. So I think she's doing pretty darn good. Uh, the sleeping is normal, they're saying. So for her, that's fine. And when it's time to have energy, she'll have it, you know, chase whatever, do whatever, and be all puppyified, right? Yeah. The rest of the time, it's just kind of crash time, and that's okay. I love that. Yeah. She loves you. Yeah. We're besties. We're total besties. This I love is that. Girl. I love that. And you know, if you want somebody so we can do a true demo to work on, there's, mm -hmm. by the way, there's three dogs in the house. There is another dog I can bring in who does have some issues. If you want. Oh, okay, to sure. Let's do that. You can, or you can just set her down. We'll use the pendulum. That's fine too. All right. Yeah. What? Just give me one second. Okay, this is Oliver. Say hi, Oliver. Hi, back. Oliver. Hi, Oliver. I could say That's so dude. much about him, but I know you're going to pick up his energy right now. Yeah, he's tired. Yeah, uh, yeah. What's going on? What have what have the Western folks said? Sure. So Oliver has an enlarged heart. Okay. He also has a sty here which we have not been able to get rid of. And he had a, one side of his cheek, something was, oh, here it is, something growing out over here, kind of a black mark, um, but especially, of course, the enlarged heart, so. Yeah, we well, can set him down for a minute and play with the pendulum, that's fine too. Thank you. And he's got a rad mohawk. <laughs> that's funny. 
So it feels like uh, when I'm in it too, it, they have a sty coming out and a little thing coming out of the cheek. It's things that are perhaps releasing, uh, but let's just run with Oliver on the heart. And I would even go negative just to start and say, Oliver's heart is weak and see if you get a yes or a no. Oliver's, um, Oliver's heart is weak. And right now it's going to no, so that's good. So I'd pick it back up, start swinging it again and say Oliver's heart is functioning at 100% and strong. Oliver's heart is functioning at 100%. And strong. And, and strong. That, and that's kind of a no too. So we're just going to bring in strength for him right now. And now it's going to jump to a yes. You can hold it back up because it's coming. Sorry. And Oliver's... I sent it. I sent it just like a text or an email. Oliver's so energetically. heart is strong strong and functioning at 100 percent. it's okay it's taking out all the negative it's taking out everything that's interfering with that and then you're going to watch it jump to a positive it's interesting how it sort of neutralizes mm -hmm. and then it's going to go to the right and go to yes how, I don't this is us strengthening it swinging. all right it's going to go Oh, it looks like a no. Yeah, it's changing now. You can feel that? Yeah, oh yeah. And we're changing him. And that's jumping from Florida to California to Oliver back to your pendulum. And now now it's going to go to the right and go to a yes when we're strengthening it now. No, because you're so confident when you say that. You're going to watch it. I'm trying not to move or focus. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> It won't matter. I have zero influence here. <laughs> now it's going to go yes. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Mm. Oliver. It's going to get stronger too. You start swinging it again. It should go to the right now. Oof. Oliver's heart is strong. Strong. Oliver's We're just sending it strength right now. Nice. Oliver's heart is strong. It's all right. It's going to take out all the negative and then it's going to go back to the right and strengthen. Hmm. And I love the name Oliver. That was my grandfather's name. So that's a cool name. A there you go. It's an unwinding right now. That's what you're measuring. And what you're seeing is the circling or the unwinding of anywhere there's weakness. And mm. then it's going to jump to a positive strength. That's amazing. So I guess folks who are listening to this on podcast, so forgive mm -hmm. me, you're probably going to want to go to youtube.com slash Debbie Dashinger to see this happening and unfolding. So I'm holding mm. a beautiful rose quartz pendulum and we're literally watching it swing very clearly to the left then neutralize then go in a circle it's readjusting itself i am yep. honestly uncomfortable because i'm dying to put my <laughs> arm down but i'm not going to move because i okay. do not want to influence this it's, thing it won't by matter myself. but it jimmy clearly is go. Doing moving it. it there we go and now and it's there starting it goes. to swing now it's going to go to the right. right. That's mm -hmm. crazy. That's... And that's the that took the longest of anything we did today. So Oliver had some real heart stuff going on. Yes. Yeah. Oliver is a is a mm -hmm. he's a beast and he's athletic and he's strong and he's amazing and he's the most sensitive. Mm -hmm. And I and, think and it, sometimes that's part of the heart issue too. Yeah. Right. So, he knows a lot cool. of what's going on and and by the way this is going to go on for days and days several days into it so it does pick up more energy as we go along so that's going to really help him a lot he keeps clearing shelby, mm -hmm. well, shelby didn't yes. get clearing i keep clearing mm -hmm. audience yes. keeps clearing yes wow. for days for days so yay it's like taking out the garbage and taking out the garbage <laughs> it really is it really is so we want right. to download more positive I want to talk about this starter kit. I, so 
My Liquid Fish online starter kit, and I'll give more information. It says learning this divinely fast and easy technique and integrating it into your existing clearing releasing routine or healing practice can profoundly increase the positive results you will achieve as a change seeker. I like that word. Mm -hmm. Spiritual, intuitive, or healing practitioner by reversing and clearing belief patterns. And you can actually see and feel the changes on the spot using applied kinesiology. Your kit includes special audio, video, and written instructions for learning. And what a gift for learning and using the MLF symbol directly from Jimmy. So can you share a little bit more? This is a $111 value that you're gifting sure. the audience with. Sure. And yeah, and it's a sign up through you guys, and that's great. And really, it takes you step by step through that. There's audio, like you mentioned, there's video, and it's also in writing. And it just shows you the basics of what we did today. And when you watch that pendulum change, all we care about is at the end of the day, all I do morning, noon, and night is knock down the negative and download more positive. And that's it. So whether it's Oliver, you, me, the people, um, relationships, money, work, job, career, whatever it may be, that's what this addresses. And so they can you know, go through that, read each step-by-step -step piece. And I find when you hit people that many different levels, some people are great at reading, some people are great at listening, some people are visual, as you know, uh, but if you hit all three of them, it starts to go deeper. There's some repetition in it, but then you, you get to that point where you go, okay, now I know what he's talking about. Now it makes sense. And that's when you have that aha moment, and that's the most rewarding thing for me. And anybody can fish? Anybody can master this? Anybody can. Yeah, like I said, I taught a 12 year old boy with his mother in the room and uh, 85 year old woman how to do it. So anybody can learn. It doesn't matter. All right, folks. So you want to go to jimmymachealing.com slash free dash summit slash gift. It will be in the show notes. So you can also get your free gift there. So Jimmy, then how is perceiving that the best is yet to come? and having more play, more fun, more entertainment, essential for making forward progress in one's life. Wow. Yeah, that's all I talk about and do. I mean, we, you know, end each even Zoom event or anything I record with, uh, the rest of your life will be the best of your life. And remember to make a little progress each and every day. And that is the best way to go, is just make a little progress every day. The longer I'm in this, the funnier it is to me. I think they have a lot, a big sense of humor. I think they're into entertainment, spirit world. In other words, they want us to have more fun. They want it to be more dynamic and for us to live more rewarding, richer lives. And so I think that's important. And you know, this just takes you to a whole nother level. Do you have, um, especially since you return back to us and were delivered by that amazing nurse back out into the world, mm -hmm. Vivian, do you have a guide that you work with? Is there I, some sort of tribe that showed up for you? You know, the easiest way to tell people it's I bypass all the guides, the angels, all that. I think there's different people and things hanging out with you all the time. If I ask and go up to spirit right now, like your uh, guardian angels with you, everybody has that. I see a lot of colors. Things are very vivid. Uh, you have one, two, three guides also with you right now and no vanilla angels, just your guardian angel and three guides. And mom's side, it's your dad's side. It's like your dad or granddad is in the room too. Grandfather. And so, yeah. And so that is what comes through right now. And they're very fast. They're speedy, speedy, speedy. So they got to either slow it down for us, which is really hard for them, or we got to speed it up. And so for me to go that fast and tell you who's in the room, that's them talking to me, if you will. But my thing is more along the lines of electricity. It is the energy in between. It's more Holy Spirit energy. That's the easiest way to tell people. It is the wind underneath the dove's wings. It is everything that's in the in-between. And I'm moving that around so that things get better for people. And what is your daily ritual? Do you have anything that you do every day yourself to ground yourself, center yourself, be healthy? I would do just what we did in the beginning, which is clear myself the yes, release any unclear to no. It just goes faster now. 
and then run myself forward. And the other thing I would do, I've started even this year is I'm going to clear out my whole day. So I'm going to say even today, you know, Thursday, uh, it's Thursday. I envision it. I see the word Thursday and then September and then 15, 2022. And I'm going to clear that to yes, take out the unclear and run the whole day forward so that it runs up ahead of me and gets better, better. So whereas you might have had a car wreck or something horrible, when you do that, it tends to smooth things out. And the easiest way to tell people is a lot of it that we get caught up in feels like air turbulence. And when we raise the plane higher, then all of a sudden we start flying above it and all the turbulence goes away. Wow. You know, when you said that, I'm clearing my day. I thought you meant clearing your calendar so you can make money and not really have a whole lot to do. <clears throat> I was like, I'll some of that, please. Yeah. No, I mean, clearing the day and everything we do. <laughs> that might be one you want to add. Yeah, there you go. I'm sure oh. there's a lot of people who would love that. Yes. So no radio show anymore. No, I had a lot of years of that. I've been on a lot of different people's shows. I don't need to tell you what it's like to plan it and get ready for it. And gosh, you hope people showed up on time. That was compelling and um, you know, I enjoyed it, but now I do a lot of different summits and things and I'll be on people's shows like yours. And I enjoy that much more. Yeah, totally. Yeah. There's a very real thing out there called pod fade. And yes, uh, because everybody and their mother and brother are running like, oh, mm -hmm. I have a business. I'm an entrepreneur. I have a voice, whatever. I must do a podcast. And then they start doing it and realizing, dear God, this is a lot of work. It is a lot of work. I don't yeah. know. It's going to take me forever to build an audience. And, and I have to write a script and hire this. And I mean, it's beyond. And then yes. the podcast fades. So, you know, when I teach my interview classes, I always say, go for a well-established show. If you're going to be interviewed, make sure they've been around and they're going to be around. You don't want to be right. something that fleets in the middle of the night. And what about you, Jimmy, has changed? So using this work, is there like a reference point for you uh, something that you dealt with that was a pattern that really didn't work for you in your life. And then using this modality, it's completely different today. Yeah, I would say prior to that, um, anxiety, stress, tension, that sort of thing, just kind of hurry, hurry, hurry. And now I'm like, oh my God, I'm like Zen monk, couldn't care less kind of thing. And not in a flippant way, just in a, it will all unwind. And it's like Zach Bush and D would say, you are in allowance of things. And I allow people to be who they are and what they're going to do. And then I do my thing and I force nothing. I just allow. And that really changed everything. So just the modality of clearing that through my liquid fish helped out a lot. It just took out all the anxiety, stress, and tension. It's great for PTSD or overwhelm, you know, depression, that sort of thing. You start clearing all that out, and then all of a sudden you just almost wake up and go, oh my God, I feel like a million bucks, right? All right. So this is, that's an amazing mm -hmm. example mm -hmm. of accident because my, my, what I'm taking on right now, I don't even know how to say it. Let me just say the words, surrender, letting mm -hmm. go. Yes. Yeah. Like, and, I'm, and it's not easy. I mean, no. but you, you have to work through it to get to the other side. So totally. I'm a control mm -hmm. freak. I, I am. I am. I'm a, a you will learn to you will learn to let all that go. <laughs> yes. Can we do something here for everybody right at the end about sure surrendering, letting go mm -hmm. and and this control, this uh, vigilance and all this? Look, it served me well in many regards. But mm -hmm. today it has come up to heal. And yep. to yep. so, yeah. So it doesn't show up as surrender as much as letting go. So it's safe and comfortable to let go right now for you and a lot of folks that are watching now in the future, it's a no. And so you're going to spin that. It's going to go to the left. There you go. And so all I'm going to do is fish it all out and release it. And we're going to delete all that out and make it safe and comfortable for everyone to just let go. And then it'll jump to the right and it'll go to a yes. It is safe and comfortable for all of us to just us. let go. To just let go. That was kind of fast. It's it sweet. really was. Yeah. And there it is. Wow. 
like I said, the toughest thing today was Oliver and his heart. So <laughs> just took a minute. Okay. And you still work with people individually? I do. I do work with people by appointment. I do phone. I do Skype, WhatsApp, Signal, Telegram, whatever works for them. You know, okay. Facebook like Live. all that is whatever. Yeah, it's okay. And really, I, I'll do like your show live video and I do a Zoom event once a month. But for the most part, I do phone because I can lay in bed with my big fat black cat and I can move things a lot better just laying there with my eyes closed. Oh. And that team that seems to really accelerate everything too. Anything here at the end you want to tell the listeners, Jimmy? Oh, just remember, I always say to have your life, the rest of your life should be the best of your life and just make a little progress every day. And my mother used to say, what does it really matter? And will this matter five or 10 years from now? And chances are, whatever you're going through, you'll barely remember it, you know, or you'll say, what was that person's name? I can't, I know it started with a B or whatever. Uh, but that's where you get to over time. So you just have to be more in allowance of everything. Let everybody do their own thing and you do yours. Thank you. I mm. thank you. Shelby thanks you. Oliver <laughs> thanks you. Thank you. I'm grateful. My pendulum thanks you. And I'm so grateful for the great work you do here. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Again, folks, if you would like his free liquid fish starter kit, go to jimmymachealing.com slash free dash summit dash gift. And I end today's show with this quote from Queen Latifah. Believe in yourself. Stay in your own lane. There is only one you. Subscribe to this number one transformational conversation, Dare to Dream with Debbie Dashinger. Leave a comment. Thank you. I read all of them and I do get back to you. Next week on the show, I'll be featuring the Japanese author, Ken Honda. He's back. This guy's a phenom, by the way. Ken's books have sold over 7 million copies and he offers the Happy Money Healing Program. Thank you for joining us. Again, if you loved what you heard in the podcast, jump on over to youtube.com slash Debbie Dashinger so you can see what Jimmy was doing and how the pendulum was going and all the work he did. And don't just dare to dream, dare to make all your dreams come true. Thanks for joining us today.